Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. Well, Stars on Ice makes its triumphant return to Ottawa at the Canadian Tire Centre on April 30th. And uh, just some absolute legends involved in Stars on Ice, as, as it normally is. But I'll just throw a few names out there for you. Kurt Browning. Uh, Patrick Chan and my next guest, two-time Olympic silver medalist, three-time world champion, seven-time Canadian champion, Elvis Stoiko joining us on the show. Elvis, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Thanks so much for doing this because I understand you, you've got a little reprieve. You're, you're back home, uh, of course, you know, doing interviews and staying in shape, but how's the tour been going so far? You guys must all be excited to be back on the road. Yeah, no, it's wonderful to be back uh, touring again. Um, you know, did the holiday tour and, and stuff but it's just great to be back uh, skating in front of live audiences uh you know keeping in shape uh, staying warm so i'm wearing my toque today um, <laughs> say it's a really cold day and i want to i don't want to get a head cold so i'm staying warm but uh, it's great to be uh, out there doing our thing well and i mentioned those other two legends i mean other legends involved as well when it comes to you know dance and pairs well what's it like that you know touring you know with, with all of you being familiar with each other right you've all followed either been together during your career career or followed each other's career what's that dynamic been like Elvis it's it's such a it's such a family it's great to have Patrick back um, he's been off for a couple years uh, now getting married having a kid having another part of his life uh, you know part of part of that part of his life it's it's great to have him back and and just the camaraderie <clears throat> even with um I mean, we're both Kurt and I are a different generation than a lot of the skaters there. We're, we're, right. we're way back in the day. And we have different generations of skaters. And, and it's wonderful to have this amazing camaraderie. And we all get we all get along wonderfully. And we have such a great time together on the ice, um, especially with the group numbers. Uh, that's a huge thing, opening, closing, uh, other numbers that we do. Um, you know, when we have ups and downs, we support each other. Uh, you know, there's times where, you know, one skater's not doing great or uh, it, it, we're always there to pick each other up. And, and, and it's, it's such a wonderful family. And so I'm so blessed to be a, a part of that. Uh, again, you know, we had, of course, uh, with, with COVID, we were, uh, you know, on hiatus for a little bit, but back mm -hmm. doing it again, it's wonderful. And the crowds have been just phenomenal uh, with receiving us. And, and um, it's just been a wonderful time. For people that have never been to a star, on ice before just uh, describe the experience for us Elvis I, I, I mean I'm so fortunate I, I've actually been to quite a few but as I said for those who have it it's just an amazing experience isn't it for the for the entire family no matter your age well skating is one of those one of those sports entertainment um, uh, skill sets that you, when you watch it on TV it, it doesn't have the same impact as being right there live right um, this is what I hear a lot from people <clears throat> they come in they're they're sitting front row seats and whizzing by they can hear the blades they they feel the wind of the skater coming by they don't realize uh, the power and the speed that goes along with what we do and that's one aspect of it uh, that it's just it um, I've had so many people, friends come to see the show, uh, see me skate for the first time live, and they're just like, this is not anything <laughs> like what I would imagine. And, and it's amazing. It really inspires a lot of kids, uh, which is great. I, I think that um, also with Stars, the lighting setup they have, uh, Gary Wilson does all the lighting that we've done for years. It's such a great uh, addition to it with some, um, you know, uh, multimedia stuff and uh, things on the ice that add different colors and a different blend, creating a mood, creating an intimate relationship with the audience and, and, and the experience all together. So it's not just <clears throat> skaters going out doing an exhibition, but there's a, a real connection between audience and skater and performance and, and, um, it's a great tour, uh, and I think what translates too, which makes it different, is because people can see the family uh, camaraderie between all of the skaters right. as well, and that's that really, I think, what really connects with people, and uh, that we really want to put on a good show, even if you know ups and downs, not feeling well, we put 100 percent, no matter what, you know, where we are, and and uh, you know, we leave everything out on the ice yeah. for for the for the. Fit. Is there more flexibility, Elvis, in in the types of tricks that you that you can do, and and the type of music that you can use, you know, as as compared to you know that that competitive nature of World Championships and Olympics and now national championships oh absolutely i mean there's there's a whole allotment of of skill sets that uh <clears throat> that need to be done um required elements that need to be done in competition where in shows you can just simply 
put together whatever you want. You get the length of music you want. You want one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, <coughs> however you want to, to do it. And um, costumes as well. Um, you know, we can do backflips. Uh, you know, Elage Balde is amazing at doing those. Nice. Uh, Kurt as well. I, I just uh, there's so many different things you can do. I have my own skill set that I that I do on the ice that wouldn't work in competition. So, but it's more for show skating, and and it's wonderful because it you can be more creative and you're not tied. Your hands are tied, um, you know, in competition because you have to have these certain elements that you have to complete, and they're not always your favorite elements. You know, there's right. some that you like, some that you're not good at. And we try to make them so you pick all your best ones to showcase in a show, and uh, you know you put your best skate forward, and and um, and that's what makes it fun. Well, what's life like outside of figure skating for you these days, if there's such a thing? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's lots going on. I, I've got, I, it's, um, I'm teaching acting actually, working with uh, Louis Bolmander at the LB Studio in Toronto. Um, he's a wonderful coach. He's worked with me for years. He wanted to create a course. Uh, because of my focus and mental discipline, right. um, and a lot of they, a lot of coaches use um, you know sports metaphors, and he says I would like to put this into practice. So I've been teaching some acting, which has been absolutely wonderful. Um, but my main focus has been racing cars. Uh, last season, I raced uh, an Audi A5. Uh, my mechanic and I built two cars together over the winter, which was wow. wonderful. And, uh, we raced last year in endurance racing, and I'd like to. That's that's my next step. I'd like to get into the. Uh, car racing on a full-time basis and and um, it's something I've wanted to do since I was a kid and it's it's now I think I can make it happen and uh, there's a lot involved but uh, it's it's you know another endeavor I've done skating for so long and, and I'd like to do something that's um, you know a passion since I was uh, a little boy so it's I'm excited oh congratulations well I'm going to be following that path with you and going on that journey with you for sure that's exciting stuff Elvis really appreciate you spending time with us today thanks so much uh, in, enjoy the rest of the tour and and travel safely we're looking forward to having you here in ottawa and i'll just remind our viewers as well as i as i sign off with you here uh it is coming to the canadian tire center on april the 30th it's a one-time performance at 4 p.m stars on for more information <laughs>